Hello and welcome to how to create a basic ping pong game in Scratch 3.0 part 2. So in this video we'll be creating a start screen to our basic ping pong game and our and an end screen to our basic ping pong game. In addition to those end and start screens, we will we will also be adding some sound effects and some music. Hopefully we'll be able to add some music into Scratch. We will also make it a little bit more polished as the score could look much better. Let's get straight into it. First of all, come over to File and click Save as a Copy. This will copy your project. This in helps ensure that the games that you create, the original version, is kept safe. So that way if something happens to this version, it's alright and you won't have to start all over again. You'll just have to rewatch part 2. So remove copy and put ping pong game part 2. Now we are going to add a start screen. So adding the start screen is really basic. How about we first of all hover over choose a sprite and then click paint. Go over and change the fill to white or any color you'd like. I like white. And draw a big box. Center it off. Change it to zero zero. And then put whatever you'd like as the start screen text. I will just put welcome to the ping pong game. This is kind of like an ad that you have at the start of a video, but yeah, it's kind of similar. So once you've done that, right click it and click duplicate then in black text in the corner put cl click to skip okay that looks good so that way the person the player will have to click the screen to skip now we will change some code in here but we'll do that later so we'll come over here to events click when green flag clicked looks show if you show it and make sure it goes to the front layer then we wait three seconds as that seems like a reasonable time. Don't forget to change the costume to costume one, which is the one without the skip. Then it waits three seconds, and then it changes to costume two. Then you can go into control, drag a weight until sensing, touching mouse pointer, and mouse down. Come over to operators, drag an and operator in it and put touching mouse pointer and mouse down that means mouse click and then we can put hide and we can create a new broadcast message broadcast start the project yeah Now this will be like our kind of start thing. But you can see that we have to make sure that the ball doesn't start to go before this hides. So we have broadcast start the project. We can come over to ball and remove, oops, sorry, remove this. And when I receive start the project, do that. And that, should be 
click to skip, boom, and now it started. Very good. But what if the person doesn't know how to play the game? Of course, you can just go to the like go to the instructions on when you click see project page and put it in instructions. But that seems so. Some people just skip that and don't even read them. So let's make sure that they understand what they're going to do. So with that, we can actually go into costumes and put in another um costume. We can call this instructions. Then we can go into the rectangle, make any color you like. I'll make mine white again. Stay with the theme. Center it off. Come to text. Make it any color you'd like. I want mine to be nice blue. Type in the instructions. I'll have instructions at the top and I'll make it so my instructions um, hover your mouse and change the oops change I spelled that wrong change the position of the paddle to hit the ball and save it from the lava do not let the ball hit the lava try to get a score of 52 win by pressing sing this to skip okay this is a very basic type of instructions you can change those up you can add more information and yeah that's it so wait until that happens and then we can have looks switch costume to instructions but what if they like accidentally double click that's why you should have like a wait one second in between switch costume to instructions wait one second and you can duplicate this as we do not need it to do it again this is looking much better Blah 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 Pressing this to skip, okay. Okay, now we can play. Much better. But what if we hit the uh the score of fifty? It will just say it'll just say you won, yay, and then it'll just stop the project. We will create an end screen. This will be the start. And we can create a new end screen by hovering over choose a sprite, clicking paint, and I will name this end screen. Then I will create a black box this time. You can choose any color you'd like. Don't forget to center it off. And then you can write. You win. You win. Follow and follow. And star four, four. Of course, this can you can change this around. 
and you don't have to have this follow heart and star for more but you can do that if you are going to share the game to the community and then we can go right click this click duplicate and instead of you win change this to red and change it to you lose follow heart star for more yep follow heart star for more and we can make a new oops text i find to be really fidgety in scratch hit the green flag to give another try and you can find the center and then hit the up arrow up arrow key on your keyboard to make sure that it's centered another try and that looks really nice so this can be lose when okay beautiful then we can do when green flag clicked forever i mean sorry 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 when i receive lose then looks show and switch costume to lose and then when i receive win okay switch costume to win and both of the times we will need to stop the whole thing and don't forget to reset the cost the the what it looks so that way it hides so go and put sorry hide and now when we click the green flag it hides okay don't forget to make sure that it goes to front layer and that's some very basic coding there this um start and end screen is very important for you to have a polished game and we can change up some of the code here so we will not need this anymore we can actually now use the broadcast broadcast not lose broadcast win and we can broadcast lose when it touches the lava so we can remove the stop all and that looks much better for testing we will only do five and just for us to save some time click click okay there so um how did that happen that wasn't meant to happen let's try again uh oh something's wrong what's wrong there is something wrong with the game so let's go through and check our code so here it says go to front layer show switch costume to lose stop all yep okay yep that should be fine lava has nothing in it paddle yep ball if touching lava then oh you can see when i receive start project that's not correct we wanted to go to when the green flag is clicked and start the project so either way it goes to the center and now you can see that if i there this is much better and when i hit the score of So as you may see, we've hit the score of five. It says you win, follow heart and star for more. Beautiful. Now what happens if we lose? Mm. 
Okay, oh, 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 and I, um, missed. Oh, we missed. The low screen pops up. Beautiful, isn't this? Now we want to add something else. Some sound. So we can come over to Scratch's sounds and we can use the sounds. Scratch, if you use the ball, it will have boing and pop already in the sounds. So let's listen to boing. 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 That sounds like a really good sound to use. So come back to code and click sounds. Then we can put play, um, start sound. Boing, and change score by one, turn 150 degrees. And that will make it so that way when we hit, when we hit the paddle, it should make the boing sound but it's not working. That is because it starts to sound boing. You should change it so that way it says play sound boing until done at the end of that. Now let's see if it works. Oh. And it says boing. And we lost. Hmm, something doesn't seem to be working here. Boing. That's there. Taste down point. Hmm. Hmm, something seems to not be working. Something's wrong with Scratch. Oh, unfortunately, due to Scratch working seems like that's not going to work well anyway that sometimes does happen and that something that could be a bug in scratch or something else so unfortunately because of scratch there's a bug or something and it doesn't work that's very confusing but uh let's just move on so as you can see the ball right now it's working, all, everything's all right, but, but once you've finished the project and when you're about to hit share, always remember to go through your code. Always remember to check all the code that you've done, make sure that everything's how you like it. So let's go. So when I receive start the project, go to the center, point in that direction and move, okay? And go to the center, if touching lava, broadcast lose. Oh, but what happens if we broadcast lose and it's still in the center? So let's go to zero, zero, and then we can broadcast lose. That will avoid any excess bugs that might pop up. Um, when green flag clicked, oh, that's working all right. When green flag click forever, if score is equal to five, oh. We remember that we changed the score to 5, change it back to 50. We don't want the player to be set in the instructions to reach 50, but we only have it at 5. That was only for testing. Okay, let's go through the paddle. Basic, nothing too much. Lava doesn't have anything. So, yep, that should be good. Start screen. Go, when we for click, show. Go to, go to the front layer, switch costume to 1, wait 3 seconds, switch costume to 2, wait until click, and then switch costume to instructions, wait 1 second. Okay, that should be really good. End screens. Yep, that should be perfect. But if you don't want this to be like this, and you want a little bit less laggy, then you can actually move show to the front, show, go to front layer, and then do that. That sometimes might be a little bit less laggy, but it also might sometimes be a little bit more laggy. So it depends on how you like it, personal preference, but make sure to switch costume is last, 
and make sure that stop all is at the very very end and let's go into well let's first of all go to file and click save now full screen press the green flag let's see this game um okay Ooh, let's have a go one two three four five and oh no i missed okay everything works it's perfect but so sorry for some reason for scratch not working with the sounds um but yeah rename it to what you like ping pong game ping pong game there and then yep so what we've done in this tutorial video is we have finished the ping pong game series um i will link a studio down below in the description where you can add some of your projects i i'd like them to be different and unique and remember it's all right you if you're new to scratch sometimes things don't make sense immediately and just keep trying there'll be bugs sometimes don't worry about the just yeah and have a good day or have a good night bye